When I was a child, I wanted to become a princess. I liked the idea of doing nothing at all and bossing other people around. <laughs> and at the age of 12, uh, I started to have serious problems with my hips. And I couldn't walk anymore very well. I needed to use crutches. And for some time, I also needed to use a wheelchair. And that's when we found out that I have a rare disease called Marfan syndrome, not only affecting my joints, but also my eyes and my heart. Somehow then, my dream came true. I was the princess. I didn't need to do anything anymore. Everyone took care of me. But that was not very satisfying. It was not, I, di I felt useless, and I had nothing to be proud of anymore. I thought about that when I graduated from college, and I started to search for a job. For me, um, I want to be confident about my disability. I want it to be something I don't need to be ashamed of. And I know what I can do and what I can't do. So I went to a job interview and we had a very nice conversation. They liked me, they liked what I did, they liked my Vita. And um, so I said, okay, I want to communicate openly. I tell them about my disability and what it means. <laughs> the atmosphere was instantly gone. And the recruiter was irritated, kind of shocked, and he didn't know how to react properly to, to the situation. And that's why we founded Career Moves, the first online job platform for people with disability. I'm not alone. 15% <laughs> of the Austrian population has a disability, and they have a significant lower rate of employment. And the Austrian companies, they don't see the opportunities in this target group right now. So this is why we founded Career Moves, and this is what we are working on for the last five years. So let me explain you a bit. Um, since we founded Career Moves in 2009, we have been working mostly with companies because we want to change exactly what happened to Heidi and many more people before. We want to change the mindsets of people, we want to work on barriers in people's heads and about the prejudices, companies, HR, recruiters, um, and people in companies have against employing people with disabilities. Um, so this is what we are doing day by day with Career Moves. We are consulting companies on the abilities of people with disabilities. So what we focus on are the strengths of people. So we say everyone has a strength and everyone one can be good at performing in a job. You just have to find the right, right job and the right person and match them. So after we convince companies that people with disabilities are a potential talent source for them, they can post their jobs online on our website, Career Moves, um, and can reach the target group of people with disability via the website. On the other hand, we have people with disabilities who are searching for jobs. Um, so they can search for, at Career Moves, check out the jobs which are online, check out which companies are sensitized by us and consulted by us, and which companies are open for people with disabilities. Um, and if they have any question in the application process, they can always contact us at Career Moves, obviously. Um, at the end, the idea is that they apply for jobs with the companies and people with disabilities get jobs. So what really makes us happy is that since we started in 2009 with Career Moves, we have already posted more than 12,000 jobs at our platform. That's for the dancing. <laughs> 12,000 in a small company, country like Austria, so that's a huge number. Um, so let me talk a bit about our business model. We are operating on a hybrid business model, so we have operating based on private income um, and also public income. So companies can post their jobs online on our platform, they can have employer branding corporations with us, and they can have online commercials on our, our website, so this is all they can pay for. And on the other hand, um, we also receive some public financing for the consulting work we are doing with companies and applicants, um, which is there to solve a social problem. So let me um, give you an example. In 2013, last year, we were operating um, based on a budget of 450,000 euros. 
Um, so how can we do this? We really have a winning team behind that. We have nine people working on career moves at the moment, um, and they are all experts in business, HR-related field, which is really important for us. But what is even more important for us is that half of them have a disability themselves. So we show and they show every day that it works, that people with disabilities can perform in their, their jobs, they have strengths, and they convince companies that this is a potential for them as well. They should not forget. Um, so what do you want to do now? We want to go all over Europe, and this is exactly why we are here. So it works really well in Austria. So we are currently developing a social franchising system with career moves. Um, on the one hand, we're searching for potential job platforms all over Europe who want to cooperate with us um, so we can give technology know-how to them. And on the other hand, we are searching for social entrepreneurs all over Europe who are interested in the field and who we can help with the know-how we have created since 2009. So the idea is to really create one European brand um, for jobs with disabilities and to create a network of knowledge exchange and development. Let's sum it up. Um, who pays? On the one hand, there is the private sector, the company, who are paying for our services. And on the other hand, there is the public sector paying for our services. And for what are they paying us? Um, of course, they're paying us for putting the job offers on the website, but also important is that we're consulting the companies and we're consulting the job seekers with disabilities. And why are they paying us? There is um, all over Europe, um, many countries already have a legal obligation to um, help people with disability to be part of the workforce, of the labor market. And uh, secondly, um, there is the financial point of view. Companies can just not ignore this target group anymore. And thirdly, there is the social dimension. We need to create a world where it does not matter if you have a disability or not when you search for a job and it is part of the corporate social responsibility of the companies to integrate that, to do that. <laughs> so, my dream of becoming a princess didn't turn out as I imagined. I have a new dream, we have a new goal, and we want to post 100,000 jobs <laughs> all over Europe by 2020. And this is going to be 100,000 opportunities for people with disability to live a normal life. Thank you. <laughs>